Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sanfonics channel. Today we're building the high grade Origin, the Gundam FSD. So, I'm not sure what's the full name because I haven't watched Origin a lot. So, that's why I didn't really know the name. Plus, this one is not in the anime, it's the uh, Mobile Suit uh, Discovery. So, it's more like it's more like an MSV type of stories. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> And uh, we have the side, we have looking some uh, illustration, and we got some actions and marking uh, weapons decals uh, to talk about. And then let's just quickly open it. Five packages and an instruction book. And uh, so we got a little bit of introduction in here so the FSD is stand for full scale development so this is the Gundam full scale development uh, okay that sounds weird but I'm sorry and uh, we flip to the back we got some uh, introduction to each part of the MS and plus some decal color guide as well and we open it as you can see or something I really like about origin is their instruction book is completely different to other high grades and it looks very good for me and you know okay so we got a lot of options that you can put at the back that's really good that means you can mess around with this model a lot all right now let's look at the runners so we got a G2 runner this is the machine gun runner the whole runner is about machine guns this is the D1 runner we got some uh, uh, this is the one yes this is the D1 runner we got a uh, shoulder parts some uh, legs joined, the shield, torso, and some hands option. This is the uh, hitch runner. We got the uh, cannon, the backpack, thrusters, and we got some uh, joints as well. <clears throat> this is the C1 runner, mainly feet, torso, and uh, arms unit. This is C2 runner, it's all for the head. This is the B1 runner uh, is the shield, waist, uh, side skirt, uh, legs, uh, head, antennas, uh, beam sabers, and some possibly gun parts. We got two A1 runners. Uh, this is the joints, uh, legs, and possibly the arm and the kneecap armor as well. This is the F runner. This is for the Garling guns. This is for the Garling gun uh, unit part. We got a E runner. Uh, this is the shield. We got uh, torsos. Uh, so, uh, the, the shield signs. We got some uh, backpack units as well. Next, we got body caps. Uh, the the uh, clear red part for the eyes. The beam savers in fact part. Stickers, very less of them. I'm very happy about that. And decal sheet. Slightly less than RG. Well anyway, this is the first time I built Origin because um, I heard a lot of people said Origin series got really good gunplay, so I'm really looking forward to it and I will see you guys at the review. <laughs>
Hey guys and welcome back to the review of the Gundam FSD so this is the finishing of it so uh, when I was building it personally it was quick and again uh, I need to mention again Bandai sticker is extremely unreliable in my opinion because when I was trying to put on the decals some of the decals fell off and don't even stick on it and there's no spare so it's, uh, some part of the decals I didn't put on uh, but mostly I put it on but I just need to say that the decal quality of Bandai is very not reliable. But the finishing is very fun to play with. We have a lot of accessories that you can mess around with. I already put on some of the accessories on the uh, Gampa to uh, to showcase uh, you all to you know uh, what you can possible to mess around with. And I will talk about that more in the review. But the decals just leveled the whole finish. Uh, just very extremely good, but I wish the stickers is reliable and it's not just rubbing and it's not just moving around and then accidentally rubbed it, uh, rubbed the whole thing off. I wish it wasn't, but uh, apparently the stickers is very not reliable. But that's not the point. Let's jump into the review. So first, let's start with the head. The head have a very great movement. So up and down, very uh, good angles, and you can move 360 uh, around it and you got a very good lifting and lift down angle so you can create some good poses with the head uh, the arm can lift up uh, 90 degrees sorry let me zoom out the, the arm can lift up 90 uh, rotate 360 uh, the whole arm can move could uh, spin 360 as well and you can bend up to uh, about 180 the hands down here is movable as well uh, the whole upper body uh, is able to turn around about uh, 45 maximum because during that uh, the waist part is not really uh, very movable the side skirt can lift up very little the front skirt as usual you can lift up uh, 90 degrees um, and also I really like the part that uh, the, this time the head of the MS actually uh, have a red lens to cover it up you can still see you can slightly still see the eyes but this time just cover with a red clear piece i think this kind of design is very cool and i really like it and uh, other part other than that uh the decals do make the ms look a little bit better and it kind of gives you an illusion of it does have color separation but <laughs> that's not possible and um overall i just like the i i like the decals design but i just I just think that it's very not reliable, okay? It's very not reliable. Anyway, moving on. So we talk about the legs first. The legs spin very well and it can move around 360 again. You can rotate it around and the legs this time don't really have good movement. You can just spin front and back. You can't really move side to side. And you can kick to the side 90, kick to the front 90, kick to the back 40 maximum. And the legs movement is basically pretty good. We can look at the backpack now. The backpack uh, have a lot of thrusters. Only three of them is movable. Uh, the two of them that I'm currently moving right now, you can see two of them is currently. There's two of them currently moving, and the other one at the. And the that's the third one that you can move that I just can't reach it right now. So it's right here, if you can see it. I just let me just let you see it. This one, two, three. Three thrusters can be movable, and you can switch you can switch position that you want it's a ball joint anyway so you can move when uh, whatever position you wanted and now let's go up to the accessories right the accessory we got beam sabers you can either put it at the backpack or put it at the side of the arm you can see the connector here you can just basically pluck the beam saber on we do have the beam saber effect part that you can put it on you simply just stick it in there and you have a very good uh, looking one and we have a uh, we have the shield. This shield is very loose. I don't know is it my model problem or overall the design like this, but it feels like it's about to fall out in any seconds. This shield is foldable, so you can fold up and let the MS hold it, or you can flip out and complete the shield. You can put it on to the uh, connector side of the left arm as well, but it's very hard to pull it out. So uh, last time I pulled. Uh, like a couple minutes, uh, no, not a couple minutes, 10 minutes ago, I tried to do some poses and I stick the shield on it. I almost broke the connector. It's very hard to pull it out. 
the other one we have this kind of you know uh, Gundam ground type look like shield if you can you know kind of remember that so basically it's possible to flip out and then just simply stand on there it's possible to do that because during uh, the design is basically exactly the same like the Gundam ground type or the gym type I don't even remember which one was that but that's the same design we do have the same connector that you can connect on the left arm as well uh, I can quickly show you that because that's gonna take less work because I think yeah so basically simple as that you can simply plug it on and the beam savers though you can either store it at the back in here or you can store it inside the shield the shield inside the shield do have some connectors that you can put it on and you can just simply plug it like this see it's a, there's a spot for you to put the beam savers and also we have multiple we have uh, not multiple we have uh, another hand option uh, there's a holding gun one I already put it on to the MS and you can have this normal uh, normal hand for the MS so there's no open handle sadly I wish there's one so I can you know kind of mess around with it so if we flip to the backpack as you can see the left side right now is holding a uh, is currently with a cannon you can actually pull it out and switch to other pieces so this so as you can see the connector this time is different you can see there's two spot here yes you guess it right you can pull off this ground Gundam look like type shield and then you can plug it onto the MS like this it's pretty cool isn't it but it's, it's kind of remind me how the RX-78 is uh, working I I know I'm sorry about light wing during this gunplay is heavy a very dark color theme so it's very hard for me to show you what it looks like uh, okay so we have a next connector we have another connector that you can put on the mach uh, the machine gun let me try to pull it off to show you so as you so as you can see it's possible to uh, put the machine gun at the back as well I think this is a pretty good design so you can choose what you want to put at the back that is a pretty good uh, thought it's a very thoughtful design and um, I don't think there's any more accessory to talk about oh yeah uh, we have a machine gun here that you can bend around it's just basically put it at the side skirt and then you can move it to the front and put it in there this is a very cool looking machine gun design I admit it because this time the model included a bendable uh, ammo pack for you to you know you can mess around when you're moving that arm but uh, the downside of uh, installing the machine gun uh, on the hand is uh, now you have a very limited movement on the arms so you may want to consider about it so depends on you if you like if you like me uh, you like the machine gun on it just put it on it but the right hand of the gunplay movement will be affected just then the little note there so this is the other review hope you guys enjoy, enjoy this video uh, I'm sorry about the lighting and the uh, you can't really see the figure clearly because the the theme of the MS is just too hard for me to uh, display it and this is what it looks like if I put on every single uh, equipment on the Gundam it looks pretty awesome though for a guy like me that likes a lot of weapons on a MS this looks extremely cool we got two shields a cannon and a machine gun and a gulling gun on the MS it looks extremely good and I like it I like it very much and for me this is the first time I built an Origin MS uh, is the instruction uh, a couple things to talk about the good ones um, the design of it is very cool the decals actually add a lot of details and it always is so fun to play with a lot of weapons and plus the instruction book is amazing compared to the normal HG or RG this one is like I like this one aside the RG ones because the XG instruction book is just straight boring <laughs> at this time it, it does have some colors on it to you know have you to look at it and the origin is something that I don't like the decals is not really reliable if you touch it accidentally scrub it it fell off it's gone and I don't really like that but I don't know Bandai is gonna you know uh, strengthen the stickers or not uh, that's up to them because I can't really decide that but I wish uh, the decals can be more uh, stable then it will be very very good 
but uh, anyways, this is overall a very good MS and a very good gun pod to mess around with. This is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more uh, gun pod reviews. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.